My name is Varia. I'm a photographer, and I also write a blog about St. Petersburg. I take pictures of the city and the people who live in it, pictures of everything I like about this place. I first came to St. Petersburg as a tourist three years ago, and I was so amazed that I came again. And then I decided to move here permanently. I like my friend Mikhail Pavlovsky a lot. I think he's one of the best photographers in St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg is a good place if you want to find your inner self. There's an eternal Dostoevsky in human nature here, and I think that makes the city very interesting. When I walk along beside the canal, I almost feel like I'm in a book. Dostoevsky lived and worked here, and when I walk down this embankment, I sometimes feel like a heroine from one of his novels. This shop's slogan is, in St. Petersburg, you look silly without a book. And it's true. <laughs> Since I was little, I've always felt that this was my city, and I'm still admiring it, walking with my eyes wide open. Wow, yes, I love it. Young people are crazy about St. Petersburg. <laughs> There are all sorts of wonders in the hidden courtyards that are emblematic of St. Petersburg, like this tiny second-hand dress shop. This style suits St. Petersburg perfectly. People here are creative, sometimes even too creative, so they really like to experiment with retro and vintage styles. Anyone can buy clothes at the mass market, but St. Petersburg likes uniqueness and personality. Everybody I know in St. Petersburg does something creative. This is Arata, the modern art museum containing one of the largest private collections of Russian art. You can find works by most of St. Petersburg's contemporary artists here. St. Petersburg is a young city compared to Moscow and it's always had an innovative spirit. The public here is open to change, to new things, to moving forward as you live. Now we're on Vasilevsky Island, a creative hub for anyone looking to engage in the arts. Some people dance, others draw paintings, and I come here to study at the theatre studio. Train tracks cut the mountain snow And towers slice the 
When you free your body, you also free your mind. And I believe that St. Petersburg is one of the best places in Russia to find this creative freedom. Things are moving on and we can feel it. Before, many artists here wanted to go to Moscow. They felt more was happening there. But now that's changed. People don't leave anymore. In fact, artists from Moscow have started to move here. When the sun sets and the lights start to shine, the city doesn't go to sleep. People go out and have fun. Of course, young people are attracted by the city's art, its creativity, knowledge, freedom and white nights. It's so romantic you want to drink it all in. St. Petersburg has it all.